Okay. Hopefully I'll do better in this fucking dungeon. I think by this point, I've come to, 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 I've come to the conclusion that I that this is the worst dungeon. That you can't talk? Shut <laughs> up. <God damn> <laughs> <laughs> that bliss laughed. I'm off the hook. Sometimes I have to mouth a porky pig, I swear. <laughs> Uh, oh. Yeah, pretty much. It's just so hot, I'm getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. So tick. Oh, like, no, no, I'm not even going to fix that. <laughs> Yeah, the thing well, is, though, is that you're tempting me. <laughs> oh, hey, well. I'm back when I need. By all means. Huh, it's yeah, one of those kind of streams, is it? By all means. Oh, I'll say this. I mean... Bird, bitch! <laughs> oh, fuck. It's getting hot <laughs> in here, and I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Uh, you know what I forgot to do today? What? I'll do mm. it tomorrow. But I forgot to show some screenshots of part five. Oh, Jesus. You know, it's really good that you, like, you get projects out of the way in advance, so that way you'll have much more time to work on, like, other projects. That's... Huh. A Must be nice having a team! <laughs> hey, I said that I would be willing to help you out with your production. Bye! In what three years? <laughs> <laughs> you never forward to be back. Okay. Uh, well, I'm you... sorry, Golden, but you, you're, you, when it comes to you and getting projects out, now, now, don't get me wrong. Yeah. When you get something out, it is freaking amazing, and I get so freaking jealous of your work. It inspires me to do better. This is why I said I would. But fucking it takes help you. you almost a year. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's all the love and care. It took him 10 months for, me, for him to get him to use audio. I want it done in my lifetime, not in 5, 50 years. <laughs> well, to be fair, how long have you been working on this one? Tom, the, the other boy has been in production for two years. Granted, though, I've, I've been dishing out other things. So you're literally time. saying, oh, you'd get it done in half the time, damn you. Now, okay, first off, I've been doing other <laughs> things before the other boy in the past two years. Now that the... Finally, the audio editing and script editing is done. I can finally get into the editing itself. The only reason why I didn't get started at the beginning of the year was because of all the cluster pluck that happened at this beginning of the year. That what? forced me to force back production and redo several and redo all the parts. But it's still twice as long, so. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I had to go into re-rush production. Refixing the audio, redoing part two because I had to cancel that part two or replace it with Will, Thespio. Uh, I I don't have a team. I do everything by myself. The only people that have been helping me on this is um, well, Jack Nolan helped me with uh, uh, a trailer. Uh, Elicity, amazing artist. He's doing the thumbnail artwork for the series, and Mini Mitstro, He does the music for me. Yeah. Oh, um, I keep forgetting to answer that one question. Um, Jesse Barr, I think it would be nice that I would have um, a plushie of my own. Because I'd never have a plushie of my own OC. Like everybody else has. Yeah, I don't, but I'm from I do. I don't, but that's because I don't have time to work on anything MLP. And I, I don't, because I keep forgetting. And Check. it's kind of too, too late for me because it's like so late into the fandom cycle. But... It's never too late for love. Plus, I'm just hey. too busy focusing on, you know, on my own job. Yeah, we're going to do the collab, Golden. But as for the magic lesson, I want it done this year, not in three years. <laughs> Don't worry. Jesus. <laughs> Mr. It takes 10 okay. months for him to send me his audio recordings. Shut God the damn. fuck up. <laughs> Seriously? Did it take him that long? Yep. I had... Holy <laughs> shit, Brett. Hey, you know, collab, at least Ricky. I'm more... At least I'm more... 
<laughs> you, got, you got nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> at least you're more what? You were cut off immediately. <laughs> to, conti- to finish my sentence, at least I'm more punctual than Keyframe is. She hasn't finished her lines for Brotherhood Social. Brotherhood Social. And uh, that was a thing oh, that's I'd... been in the works since 2015. I thought you canceled it. You told me you were going to cancel it. Son of a bitch. Get down there. Thank you. And uh, Rarity investigates. She hasn't finished her lines for that yet. <sighs> Goldie, you just gotta walk down the stairs. It's not that hard. Come on. <laughs> you guys are just now watching it. Well, yeah. that's, that's kind of the delay we have, yeah. At least on my end, at least. I don't know what it's like for everyone yep. else. Yeah, we're about 20 second delay. Uh, Son of a bitch. I feel like hanging up and calling it a night and it's not even nine yet. No, I, you know, I do want to see what would happen if we could get all five of us. Get <sighs> five, get, uh, not all five, get five of us into a Dead by Daylight game and just have fun. Jesus Man, Christ. I can, Man, I can Unfor- scare Golden Fox out of Michael Myers. Fucking unfortunately, hell. Unfortunately, I can't stream Steam games. Oh, really? Yeah, I computer been... can't handle it. Yeah, it's uh, Steam games are CPU heavy, and my computer is very weak on the CPU. <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. Well, you don't have to stream it. We could just play afterwards. I could be like record or something like that. My computer's pretty beefy. Plus, it'd be nice to see it from a killer perspective. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, I actually bought him the game the other day. <laughs> oh, nice. I was going to do that. For his birthday. His birthday. Fuck. Yeah, I was actually going to do that because it was on sale, but... Don't understand the question, Heartless. I want to fix that. I <sighs> bow to you f- for your Volume 3 Best Play video. I love it. Also, Bliss, how cringe was your hubby when Golden was playing? Oh, That was okay. probably the only part I understood. The first part, I did not. <laughs> Just respond to him. Purple Monkey Dishwasher. You'll Purple understand. monkey dishwasher. Okay. See? See, there you go. Very nice. Solar, do you have a separate picture of your? Uh, I'm on it. I'm on it. Mark? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll have to go like send the references like after the stream. Yeah. Son of a bitch! Come on. There By the way, go. do you guys know My Little Pony and The Sims animations? Yeah, I've seen yes. it. Yes. It's by that username that I can never pronounce. It's like you. Guy Kelly. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. I know it because I have talked to the guy. I've worked, helped him with some projects. Oh shit! Like he also did the My Little Dota thing, but that's kind of on hiatus right now. So. Mm. I did like My Little Dota. I thought that was cool. Yeah, I'm like one of the main writers on that, but we just all have some real life issues, so that's on hold. <laughs> Sweet. At least as far as I know, we, we all really haven't uh, talked in a while, so we're just doing our own thing right now. That's what I'm assuming. Don't take my word for it. Here we go. Here is my ass picture of my very attractive ass. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, this fucker again. I hate these guys. Oh, Dota is Defense of the Ancients. Just think of it like the precursor to League the... The granddaddy of um, MOBA games and um, oh, what inspired shit. League of League of Legends and Dota 2 just happens to be like the quote unquote sequel to it, where it's really just a remake into a modern engine. Like Dota is like hard hardcore League if you Ooh. want to put it that way, but technically League is easy Dota. That I I think we got that when you said Dota was hardcore League. <laughs> it, it can generally be assumed when something is a hard version of something that the other version is Hang a softcore version of the. But the Dota form. came first, so I did that also just for um, ordering reasons because Dota came first, and I just gotta say. But so that doesn't Dota... deal with the difficulty. Whether it came first or not is irrelevant when it comes to the difficulty of the product. All right, all the alligators burn, bitch. Gotta wait for it. Now they're all burning. Son of a bitch. Oh, 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 oh. 
Wait, did you just call those alligators? Yes. They look <laughs> like alligators. But they have beaks. <laughs> okay, then mutated ducks. Is that any better? Yeah, what do you want to call them? Yeah. Well, maybe but, you need to... Why alligators, though? They're cold-blooded and it's a frost palace. Because they're green, that's why. <laughs> Link's green, but you don't call him an alligator. That's because he doesn't look like a fucking reptile. How did those things look like reptiles, then? Because of the fucking scales on the back. Listen, why don't you just go get a Krusty Burger at the certain burger joint Shut establishment? the fuck. <laughs> Uh, is there some running <laughs> joke I'm not, I'm not getting here? With I was ex person. okay, Dever. <laughs> in a much earlier episode of Zelda, I was trying to explain Sega Sister, the whole Aurora Borealis meme, and I got confused between Krusty Burger and Krusty Crab. <laughs> because they're both named Krusty, and they're both fucking fast food restaurants. And it was the image, what's his name, made afterwards? <laughs> that was Lister of Smeg. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Principal Skinner looking out the window and he sees the crusty crab out the window. <laughs> oh. Okay then. Yeah. I got mixed up between the two freaking fictional brands because of crusty and they're both fast food <laughs> and now you're crusty over it oh that that sucked so you mix up so you mix up animals because of the color you mix up brand names that's good to know Look, if they're both named Krusty, it's so easy to get those two mixed up. And with the K, no fucking less. <laughs> you know what? I mean, I shouldn't sure really complain because I have my own real life name messed up because uh, it's spelled a lot. <laughs> oh, hey, go look what the uh, Nightfall uh, just put, just put in the text in chat. Oh, oh God, what did it say? Was... I'll be right back. I'm going to find out what the hell's going on with this freaking AC. It's just I'm boiling. <sighs> I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that, Nightfall. You didn't say it, you typed it. You get what I <laughs> fucking mean! Hey, I'm a smartass, what do you want from me? A wise ass. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! What the hell?! God, it's like I have to be a lot more precise. Least hey, golden game. spikes are bad. They hurt. Don't touch. You know what else hurts? Headbutting. God damn it! <laughs> now that is true. No one wins in a headbutt. Actually, I win in the headbutt. My head is made of uh, reinforced titanium. That or Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat Nine. He always wins in the headbutt. You don't understand? Like, I I've gotten into fights before where people have attempted to punch me in the face. So I'll just tilt my head down, they punch the top of my head, and they hurt their hand. <laughs> and I laugh. Well, I guess I it's okay, they look more like mutated penguins with fucking yeah, penguins. Okay, we'll say mutated penguins, we'll compromise. Bitch. What the fuck is a crusty pie? <laughs> oh god, I know what that is. It's from that episode of Spongebob where, um... Crusty the, the, crap pizza pie. Oh god. And apparently it's what the hell is this? Ow. It, it, it oh. It could be shit. worse. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are we gonna laugh at you in a few seconds when the stream catches up? <sighs> I ran into a room that's like fucking collapsing. I'm like, oh fuck that shit. But apparently Fuck! <laughs> Fuck. Apparently it's the only way to go. God damn it. I hate this fucking dungeon. Ah! Oh. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! 
Madre Vignilos! No. Come on, get in there. <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to hug the mutated penguins. Um, yeah, sure you are, with a sword. That's not hugging. Yeah, it is. I gotta stop fucking doubting myself. How am I supposed to get over there? Very carefully. Didn't you come down, go through there and, like, down the stairs in a different way before? Yeah, you're meant to push that either up or down from the top in order to get to that chest. Well, unfortunately, it's too late now. So, fuck. No, you just gotta drop in from above again. Could he have pulled the one in the bottom top blocks? Because otherwise he can't get in there. No, he has to, he has to drop back in, I'm imagining, from the, uh, from the <sighs> top. Get over because... there. <sighs> I am not wearing pants. Ooh, uh, Thanks for oh, the info. Good. <laughs> so you're wearing shorts. We have it. We have another member of the pantsless party. I'm. I am just that desperately hot. Uh, I'm desperate right now. It's like the only thing. The only <laughs> thing not coming off is a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Bliss, just everything you just said, you are setting yourself up. Oh, I, man. It is so hot in my room. It's so bad. I get it's, it's so hot. <laughs> it's, it's unbearably hot. Y'all have no idea. I'm looking at this ice cave. Uh, from this game, and I'm thinking, you lucky bastard! <laughs> You're calling me a lucky bastard? I'm getting my ass kicked! <laughs> I'm looking at Link in the ice cave! Oh, Jesus. Okay, chat, give me a break. If you were in this house, it's well over 80 degrees in this house. It is I mean, hot, be... I am sweaty, I am very uncomfortable, and I am very bitter right now. All so, you motherfuckers are hypocrites. Cut me some slack, please. All you motherfuckers are hypocrites because no, tell one of you motherfuckers tell me that you have never taken your pants off in your own home. Y'all some lying ass motherfuckers. Well, of course we've had to to shower. <laughs> yeah, duh. I, I I think I'm more offended that the chat is being so judgmental after I just said I am literally dying in my bedroom right now. You're not I literally, am... you're figuratively. Figuratively, literally, I feel like literally right now. Uh -huh. I literally. Sorry, sorry I just much. recently, I just recently watched Re Weird Al's video of word crimes. Well, I, <laughs> I, I, I joke. literally feel like I'm dying. So get off me. Son of a oh. bitch! But Come dude, on. Look, 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 look up that video. It's called Word Crimes by Weird Al. It's so funny. I know, I've seen it. Heartless says I'm naked right now. <laughs> well, see, at least I'm not that. Golly. <laughs> well, on, from the waist down, anyways. Get your ass over here, jellyfish. Oh. Jellyfishes don't have ass. It's 97 degrees here, War Hero. Get off my case. Ooh. The other one's being a chicken shit. I, I love how people are trying to one me up, and it's just not gonna work with me. I'm in that bad of a mood. <laughs> Stop trying well, to one me up, chat. We'll, we'll, we'll all get naked. Oh, all right. <laughs> no. It's all about being fair. Uh, I'm in. I, I'm. I'm basically wearing pajamas at this point, so I don't see where the crime is that I said here. That I'm not wearing pants. Big whoop. <laughs> Fun fact: the current temperature of Bliss's room is about half the temperature of what the room was like whenever I took my shirt off at High Roller. <laughs> A little too. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> 
what is this, a wiener measuring contest? Oh my god, if you never said fucking penis or dick, no, you're like, alright. In Jesus all honesty, Christ. I feel I feel worse for my poor baby nephews right now. They're, everybody is sweating in my house right now, and, the, and I'm more concerned about the toddler and the one-year-old. <laughs> Yeah, good on it's, you. It's very uncomfortable for all of us, so you gotta forgive really me if I was a little TMI saying that I don't have pants on, but give me a freaking break. <laughs> God. Throw your phone here. Yeah, let bliss view. Let bliss view. I, I, I am well aware I have a PG-13 channel, but I am human, and this is me being human right now. This is like the only place online where I'm human. PG-13, Miss Bliss. Come on, guys. Let bliss, be, let bliss be. Uh... Let Bliss be caring mama Blitz. Don't turn her into her evil stepmother Bliss. Oh, God. Who is wearing... The... I'm assuming uh, they meant to say boxers. You know, it's or, interesting. Who wears I, boxing? I don't like boxing? asking that question, but then I'm always curious. Why is it that guy... Some men prefer boxers over briefs and vice versa. Well, okay. Because, let me high, tell you. because high school, that's why. Yeah. You you you're retarded if you think that's the fucking reason. <laughs> the the reason that people prefer boxers to brief is because they provide two entirely different kinds of support to your genitalia. You see, <laughs> briefs they they're nice and snug right up on your balls, <laughs> and they're also also in the summer they they tend to be cooler because you know they don't go all the way like down your legs like boxers do. Whereas boxers they kind of just let your they let your shit just swing freely in the breeze. <laughs> and you see, here, here's the issue with that. You see, some days it gets really hot. And when it's hot, your balls sag because the temperature <laughs> of your okay, testicles... Just, you, the idea. The, the idea. you see, Stop. your testicles, they come down whenever it gets hot in order to, to lower from the cool low, temperature of your too. body, you see. That's why your balls sag whenever it's hot as fuck. But whenever it's on winter and it's really cold, they, they go... Whoosh, they go like back up. <laughs> now you see, I'm here's where the, something here. <laughs> here's where the issue lies. You see, whenever your balls are like really saggy because it's hot as fuck outside, you run the risk if you're wearing boxers of those just <laughs> swinging directly underneath your butt, right? <laughs> you sit down and you're essentially turning these into a pair of scrambled eggs, <laughs> and, and that's not very comfortable. <laughs> But okay. at the same time, you know, briefs they tend to they tend to just cut like right into your little your little fucking groin area. Like they they, they get nice and tight around the gooch, and a lot of people don't like that. But a lot of people prefer that as opposed to sitting on. So yeah, <laughs> that's why there's a debate as to where, whether people wear boxers or briefs. You see, Bliss is now <laughs> Bliss is now learning all the plights of being a man. I'm learning. I'm learning things they did not teach me at sex ed. <laughs> Are okay. you seriously saying sorry for cursing after I was just talking about testicles for the past 15 minutes? <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> okay, so that so was, that was his version. <laughs> now let me give you the high school version because it's either boxers or lol, tiny ways. You're a loser. Ha ha ha. Yeah, some people have yeah. that mentality. It just shows that, you know, school and high school is garbage. Yeah, well, yeah, I literally had to go out and buy boxes just so I wouldn't get bullied. For that boxes. sucks. I got bullied I wore, either way. So. I, I wore fucking briefs pretty much all throughout high school because I was a wrestler. And that was, that's the other thing. Whenever you're running, whenever you're a wrestler, my, my coach specifically, he said, you will be wearing fucking briefs whenever you go and wrestle. And like, I didn't get it at first, but then he explained it to me. It's like, okay, if you're wearing briefs, I already explained how briefs keep your junk nice and tight. Now, imagine, <laughs> Ooh, nice ima mat. imagine you're getting manhandled on a mat by another dude. Now, now, now imagine just for the briefest instant, that you weren't wearing briefs, right? And your shit's just swinging free. And then... <laughs> end up getting that caught on the side of somebody's shoe. Yeah, it, that's all the that's all the imagination that I needed. I I, I got the picture after that. <laughs> keep going, keep going, Solar. Te teach Lightning Bliss the plights of being a man. Yeah. <laughs> being a man is not as 
as cracked up as people think it is. Like, yeah, you get to you get to pee standing up. Woo woohoo. That's about it. <laughs> well, there are things. So what? Yeah, I I could. This this, this is gonna walk on air. <laughs> I continue. Son of a this bitch! Is, this is gonna be a really what weird episode. For this you. really, really is. It's like I could go on about the plights of being a woman, but th this is a new plight I've heard. I've never heard from the men's side, so it's interesting. Uh, you, you, you've never <laughs> heard of fucking saggy balls. <laughs> nope. Keep, keep her, Solar. Solar, Liz, keep going. Keep teaching her. Liz, why do you think about we? What? I don't know. Liz, why do you think when we sit down, we tend to spread our legs up a little apart? <laughs> Well, fun fact, oh, that's, that's actually... why! Well, yeah, it's because that and mainly because uh, men's hips are actually structured very differently from a woman's um, hips. That too, that, that, they, that too, yeah. They, they're actually designed to, for a man's most comfortable sitting position to be kind of spread out because it's accommodating for that. <laughs> Sorry, Chad, Solar's educating me about the plights of being a man. <laughs> about the plights of having a penis. Alright, what's the next lesson? I don't know. I don't have idea. Uh, what else would you, like okay, <laughs> you like to learn today? Okay, what would you like to learn? How about we teach the chat how to give Golden Fox $10? To what? Let's teach the chat how to give Golden Fox $10. Well, yeah, what? Uh, open wallet deposit money. For what? What would he do? Uh, ah! He's I don't gotta know, do just... something. He could push a hoop with a stick. <laughs> okay. That was random. Well, he, he'd go to his local hardware store, he could buy a hoop, he could buy a stick, then he could push a hoop with a stick. For $10. Exactly. <laughs> okay, yeah, just, uh... I, I would I just, not I mean... Oh... Uh... I do not like these Zelda games. I do not like them, Sam. I am. Hey, what you were about to say? I was gonna say that, well, a woman's plight is we go into pain and hormone swings at once every month. Yeah. Let's not get into that one, please. <laughs> and you know, the worst part is when we not get older. Because... Not because of I don't want to. We already listened to. Me. I'm, 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 well, if you let me finish, it's not going to get any worse from here. <laughs> yeah, stop being a bitch. Like as we get older, that goes away and transforms into menopause, which is even worse. Supposedly, is even worse. Yeah, <laughs> we get the hormone swings. We don't get the pain anymore, but we get hot flashes, and those are uncomfortable. Solar forgot about the pain of popping random boners. Oh, 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 oh sit down. Sunny, oh sunny Jim. Oh, no. take, take a, take a seat, Bliss. Take a seat. Imagine this, all right? You're sitting down at school, right? You're at your, you're at your little fucking desk or whatever, and you get called up to the front of the class, right? You stand up, and the desk flips over. You know why? It's because that six-inch bulge that's fucking shooting out of your pants <laughs> for no fucking reason. <laughs> I, I I know for a fact I'm not the only fucking person that is <laughs> that has had to deal with that. Oh my god! No. I, I know for a fact I, I I know for a fact there's probably at least one person in this call that's dealt with it, and there's probably at least five in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> there there is no way that I'm the only person that has happened to that 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 would be absolutely fucking retarded if it was. Oh Jesus. Ask all, have any of you ever played SMT Strange Journey Redux? Never heard of it. Is that Shin Megami Tensei? No, I think it's an SM Dungeon Tensei. Die. I have not played any Shin Megami Tensei games, but I do want to play. Hashtag Ask All, what would you say is the worst enemy from any game you've played? Um. Like, I'd say worse that... in terms of, like, actual play, like. Like what is the worst? Is. Like, what do you mean? Like, like the character itself or the gameplay itself? <laughs> I think like when fight. it comes to fighting it, or like how bad it is, or if it's really shitty, or like what? What, what, what are we talking about? Yeah, is that, that can... people or just bad programming. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, I could say this, because like, uh, uh, like I'm pretty sure that anything could be obvious in my head, and it's like way over it. But the first thing that's in my head is. For anybody who's played the Mega Man X series, Skyver is a piece of shit in X5. Oh, not bosses. Okay, not well, bosses. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I can't really think of anything at the top. Oh, okay, no, I got one. I think Buffy and Golden can agree. What? <laughs> L LJN Jaws. Oof. That's still a boss. Yeah, that that is the one of the worst bosses because we're always facing him. Well, if you want to talk about bosses, Skyver is also a piece of shit because he likes to push you off the fucking plane instead of actually fighting you. And that is no joke. That is a fucking cheapskate of a boss. <sighs> nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can't. I think. Pretty much, I'm gonna generalize it to make it so specific, dead. but any enemy that's just like a big health sponge that like you have to spend eternity killing, but then if you make one mistake, you die instantly. Like I hate the fucking I hate the chaos prototypes in Sonic Adventure 2, the ones that only showed up during the fucking mech levels, because they would be they they, they were basically always yeah. guaranteed to get a fucking hit on you because you couldn't shoot them until they revealed their head, and by the time they revealed their head, they already had their arms stretched out to fucking nab you. And then they also shot a laser. So, in case by some miracle you were outside of their fucking arm range, they could still get you. And they were invincible in all other fucking... in all other forms until the fucking head came out. They were... I, I don't know. I, I think, I think the, the strategy annoying. I had was, as soon as I saw him, I did hit them with the Vulcan cannon that caused them to do, like, their... Little pop out, reset their pop out animation. That way, I could lock on to them and then kill them right away. Yeah, but the problem with that is that they'll almost always get a hit on you. And think, even if you have a shield, you now lost the shield because of I think that I, spot board. I think it's, I think I managed to just do that because of like memorizing where they were because I replayed the level so much trying to get their emblems and all that. It took me a long while to realize that you they are not immune to the fucking punch. So if you run up and get close enough to them that way, you can literally just punch them and that'll go through the fucking water and just kill them immediately. So anyway, I was talking about like bullet sponge enemies who could like kill you, like instantly make one mistake. I think the worst defender I ever saw was in Gears of War 3 when I was trying to play, play on a higher difficulty. Like there's like these mortar guys that like, it's like they're huge and like they're shooting you everywhere and like it takes like forever to kill them and on higher difficulties you don't have that much ammo if you just if you fail like running around and dodging like one time you die instantly but some when you face these guys you have a shitload of enemies shooting at you so it's hard to actually move around but that has to do more to do with like um like fake difficulty and all that but that that was just like the worst offender i've ever seen if you want to go with bosses, probably like Castle Crashers, that, that freaking corn boss. Oh, that was bullshit. Uh, if we're talking about bosses that are really stupid tanky, um, Randall the Vandal from Destiny 1. So, I don't know how many of you know the, the, the legend that is Randall the Vandal. I don't know how many people played Destiny 1. I know I played it all the way through because, yeah, everybody's like, oh, it's really shitty. I... I just enjoyed it because I could get a bunch of high-level gear and just stomp a bunch of fucking enemies in pubs. Anyways, so the the story of Randall the Vandal is basically in in the in the first days of Destiny when like in one of the first areas that you ever unlock, which is Earth. It's like a section of Russia, and you're in this section next to a boat. There's this one enemy. He's it like. The little fucking meter says, like, oh, yeah, he, he he's like a mid-tier enemy. He'll soak up a little bit more damage than the regular guys. But what ended up happening is when the programmers put him in, they actually misplaced one of the decimal points. So they gave him, like, Fuck raid boss one level one fucking health. And this dude was just able to sit there and eat fucking rockets from the most OP weapon in the game at the time. Just... Eat them for fucking breakfast. You, you had to get a fucking team of people just to take this guy down. 
or you had to be really good at avoiding fucking literally everything because he could sit there he he could eat whatever you threw at him for fucking breakfast it was ridiculous uh, at, at some point uh the the devs fucking finally realized oh this guy's <laughs> actually way stronger than he's supposed to be and they put him back to normal but then the people were like no no we actually like this guy put him back in so then they put him back in the game he had slightly less health than the original which I mean, I guess that's a good thing because he had a fucking retarded amount of health at that point. And they actually put him in the final expansion of that game. They actually put him in, in the fucking raid. And, like, there's a chance upon coming across this enemy. And it's just, he's, like, super fucking tanky. But if you look at his name, his name is Randell the Perfected. <laughs> that was... That was, that, was just, that was a fun time. It was completely you know, ridiculous, but it was fun. It reminds me of this um one instance, and like I forget which MMO it was, but like the devs putting like this enemy with like a boss, whatever, that had such a shitload of health that like a guild tried to kill it and like took him over eighteen hours to like get it like halfway or something, and like they just had to give up because everyone was too fatigued. I remember back in the older days of fucking WoW, people would oh my find God, really go down dumb the ways. Fucking stairs. People would find really dumb ways to break the game. Okay. The reckoning bomb. Oh, oh God. Yeah, that one. That that one was the one I was actually gonna fucking talk about. Is because like there was this one like wandering boss that you could find. It had like a fucking shit ton of health there ordinarily. We go. Ordinarily, you would have to get like a team of people together to go and fight it. But the thing was, oh, I, nice. I, I, I think it was a fucking paladin that had this ability. Yeah, like, you could get, yeah, you could get, yeah, you could get stacks of this thing called reckoning, which is basically like you could, you could stack this up and then you would gain damage. You could blow it all and like gain a bunch of damage for an attack. But like, it didn't have a cap. Was the thing. So this one dude and like four other people, they go out and they're just getting fucking stacks upon stacks of right. Like, like we're talking in the thousands, if not fucking millions. Like this guy gets ridiculous stacks Fuck. of this fucking I, I think it, I think it was like one guy bought like a, a vendor dagger, like white dagger, really low damage. It just kept attacking his pally friend and like Shit. when it broke, he got another one. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was just, he got an obscene amount of it. He goes out to this fucking boss and just one-shots it. <laughs> just just one-shots it and laughs. And then, like, in 24 hours or something, they hot-fixed it. They have it, like, give it a stack of only, like, five. Yeah, <laughs> There's always that one guy that has to ruin the fun for everybody else. It's like in... Like and fucking go ahead and smack Riley in the head for me, thank you. Anyway, fucking done. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, no, fucking die. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What happened? I'm playing League of Legends. It just remi it just reminds me of like back in the older days of RuneScape oh, when thing. you could when you could make oh, a chef's no, hat by just using fuck. shears on a regular fucking Golden or you could make a party hat by using shears a short on a time. chef's hat. Not the kind of bunny I would want to be. Fuck no. No, you're you're not, you're gonna be blissy bun. I'm gonna pretend you didn't I say that. I will end you. Ugh. It's too hot. Is, is Aeon up yet? Yes, he's up. Tell him to check his PMs. Um. Oh, he's in the bathroom. I thought Riley was ah. in the bathroom. Well, fuck. Now we'll I just walk right in there. <laughs> I think I know what I was supposed to do. Fuck. You're supposed we to fuck? We don't talk about the BB word. Yeah. You need to put something on that. I don't know what you mean by that. Hashtag Golden Bunny.
Um, my character was already in a bunny suit a few times, so. He's also been in a dress. Oh, there's there's an enormous amount. Okay, there's the maid outfit, the the playboy outfit, the harem outfit. And then uh, there was that one the time he dapped, with, he dapped with his wings. There's an enormous amount of pornography dedicated to those outfits. Which which ones did Grey Cat make? Because I know that he drew my OC with the wing boner jokes. <laughs> I never liked that joke. Wing boner. You see, that's why he's a disgusting unicorn and not Pegasus Master Race. Peter says he'll check his things later. Yeah, mm -hmm. All DNSFW art. We got a little we're planning horses. to bomb through the trick. Hang on, I gotta try that out. Cause we're gonna cook if we do. Yeah. Well, fuck! <sighs> God damn it. This is fucking ridiculous. Uh, okay. Now I'm stuck. Uh... Hang on. Maybe you need an uh, ice cube? Check the fucking... The little fucking information on the fucking tunic that you're wearing. Because I feel like that has something to do with it. The tunic? What a... <sighs> yeah, because that's like the special item from this dungeon, isn't it? Yeah, the tunic. Uh, he's wearing it right now. Yeah, what does it do? It's supposed to reduce his damage. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm I'm fucking stuck. Hmm. I just <sighs> son of a bitch. Look, uh, look. Do I really have to look up a strategy guide? Cause this game, like, I have never had to look up a strategy guide when playing it. Well, we'll just check all your items. Try hitting it with a hammer, actually. No, hitting it with a hammer won't work. I just... You have to have something standing on it. Yeah, I, I get that. Wait, what's this? It's a thing. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, okay. Oh, okay, well. I think I know what you're supposed to do now. Yep, all right. Oh. Wait. I yeah, I get you. I can only move it once? Well, fuck. Either that or I have to, like, get the right spot to be moved. Shit. Get out of my way, you two. Oh, I have to go to the other end and push one of the blocks on that end, don't I? Fuck. Yeah, it looks like you gotta push it from the bottom left, tease. I would say. Yeah, it looks like you gotta go from the bottom left. Son of a bitch. Fuck! I'm trying not to get hit. Come on. Come on. Over here. There we go. Alright. Son of a- I HATE THAT STUPID SKULL THING! You can't kill it. It drains both your health and your magic. Go in the fucking s- Ugh. This is just getting me legit annoyed now. I'm already other like, 43 minutes in recording in this episode. Ugh. Fuck this dungeon. Fuck it right in the pussy. You just magic powder on the skull thing? Is that what I was supposed to do? Uh, I can't do it now. No, I would say probably try just using the block because... God. I know I, about I, that part. I just have to go on the other side. Yeah, just... uh, I'd say the bottom left is probably the one you should go for. You know what would be really nice as opposed to something that reduces damage? Some boots that let you fucking walk on ice without sliding. 
Oh, okay. Let's see if I can... Oh, god damn it. I gotta deal with this bastard now. There. Anyway. Senior fuckhead. There we go. Okay, and... Oh, all the fucking enemies responded. Oh, no. Fuck that shit. Using the bombos. Bombos. Oh, that's right. The skull is a special snowflake. Fucking asshole. There. Now, let's move this thing out of the way. Yeah, Put fuck that guy in particular. Yep. Okay. More shit to take care of. Alright. Let's use the shot. There. Get your ass over here, you chicken shit. Oh my god. The red jellyfish are especially obnoxious. Especially when they're, like, drifting way up, like, the corner end where you can't reach them. Yeah. What a chicken shit. Oh god! Jesus! Boy, they really planned this shit out, didn't they? Fuck! Alright, mallet time. You get out of the way. Alright. I can't pull that one, apparently. I can move this. I'm getting me mallet! Yeah. Something fucking Ellie would want to do. All right, and it's another pit. Lovely. All right. The pit and the pendulum. That's a Caprego, good story. Caprego, the reason why is because sometimes they like to, you know, use their little static and they hurt you if you try to attack them. It's a defense mechanism. When it comes to the hook shot, it doesn't hurt you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, god damn it. I'm short on magic. Fuck. Oh, crap. Now what am I supposed to do? Just to... Are you fucking serious? Do I ser Did I just fuck myself? No idea. Shit. Wait, just smash him. Hang on. Well, that didn't work at all. Wait, bombs. Let me try that. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, it's not doing shit. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah, the sword gets shocked, but after the metal, it doesn't because of logic. Well, fuck. I'm going to have to go from the beginning, aren't I? <sighs> it's not that it's hard, it's just, it's a little like, it's a little annoying. Like, there's specific things you have to do, and if you find out, like, I, I can't word it correctly. Fuck it. Just go back to the beginning of the stage and, oh, god damn it, I don't have enough magic to take care of that asshole. Hey, fuck that guy! Didn't you visit the LMP so that happened? I, I probably didn't. That's the result of trying to go through this game. Fuck, dude. I'm about 50 minutes in recording this shit. This is the worst fucking dungeon in this game. Now, oh, mind you, I had to deal with that fucking snake boss who likes to knock you off the ledge. I wasn't talking to you, Alexa!
<sighs> God, this is like what? Two episodes and I have not finished that goddamn dungeon. <sighs> Consider this one a break. <laughs> 